Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm bringing you my February 2020 bullet journal setup and this month I decided to go for something in the cuter side of things. I decided to title this gym as a sleepover with snow wax. And I know it may sound kind of random, but sometimes you just get all of these ideas you want to do for a month and then you start brainstorming to just kind of mush all together. That kind of happened to me this time. At the beginning, I was going all out for a sleepover theme with really cute doodles and very soft colors to go with it. But then, snow lags just started creeping out in my brain while sketching some of the pages and it just made sense to me to have him here. So, for my cover page, I drew a sleepy snow lags laying on his back under a cloudy night sky. I really really wanted to add some pajamas on snow legs, but I'll be very honest, I kind of find it very difficult to modify pre-existing characters like that. And I tried practicing beforehand, but it wasn't turning out as I had envisioned it. There was a point where I was overthinking it, so I just decided to let it be this way and hope the idea still gets across. For all of my titles, I'm gonna be using my clear alphabet stamps with the uppercase letters and for the color palette I had to include a similar shade to the Snorlax skin and for that I'm using this Crayola super tip. I only did an overlining coloring to the cloud because it's part of the title and it would have gotten lost with that background but for Snorlax I had it fully colored in. The other colors I included are two different shades of pink and brown and those are also Crayola super tips. The only non-Crayola super tip supply here is a peach color pencil and this one I specifically use for Snorlax's lighted areas like its feet, its belly and its face. I didn't have a light enough shade for these parts in a marker so I just went with a color pencil this time. And with this, the cover page is done. Pretty simple, pretty minimal for what I usually go for, but now let's move on into the monthly overview. Now, can we talk about how satisfying February is as a month this year? Perfect for full weeks makes for a perfect monthly calendar in my opinion. And since it's a pretty chill month, I decided to go for a one page spread. I made the boxes 3 by 4 dots on the grid and this is an A5 notebook so for some people this size might be too small, especially if you have bigger handwriting than average, but for me there's still pretty decent space for what I use this for. I even had enough space to include my usual extra sections on the bottom for my notes and my weekly tasks, as well as a small doodle of 3 pillows stacked on top of each other on the bottom right corner. On the top, I drew two fluffy clouds for the title, and again, I'm using my stamps to write down monthly overview. You will actually see that I did not use my handwriting at all for this setup. And the thing is, I recently got these stamps and I just wanna use them for everything. It gets a little time consuming though, since these are clear stamps. Not only I need to pick the letters out, I also need to place them in the acrylic and then switch them off for the next few letters once the first ones are stamped. I need to trim a little bit of the edges of the stamps so next time I can get them closer to each other and be able to stamp at least 5 letters at a time. After defining the overall layout, I started adding some color and I highlighted the section's titles with a light bright pink. And I meant to use the other shade with a more peachy undertone for this, but since I already had it down, I just went with it. I then did the same overlining coloring on the clouds. I kind of forgot to do it here, but I did the same thing with the stack of pillows on the bottom later on. I used a light shade of brown as a background for the numbers of the month, doing a small circle on the right top corner of each box. Then I went with my black gel pen to add the actual numbers. For my section titles, I once again took out my clear alphabet stamps, but this time I used the cursive lowercase ones. The pack that I have has three different fonts, the one with the uppercase you saw already, a lowercase version of the same type writing style, and this one, which I think goes better with the softer concept. 
this was all I did for the monthly overview, so now we'll get into the tracking pages. Normally, I will start with my habit trackers on the left page, but this time I'm setting up my mood tracker first. January is the first month I included one of these to my setup, and I like to try out new spreads and give them time to see if they're working out for me, but I can already see some benefits to tracking my mood daily, so I think this one's going to be in my bullet journal for a little longer. Of course, I couldn't resist using Snorlax's funny name and play around with that as a concept, so I drew a Snorlax laying on its belly, relaxing and snoring. I actually got inspiration from this illustration I found on Pinterest, so just like in the picture, I have Snorlax on the bottom with little C's coming out of its mouth, and to draw the C's, I'm using this alphabet stencil. February only has 28 days, so it was easier to fit all of them in this spread. But even then, I always have to make sure to sketch things out first to avoid having more mistakes than needed. And now I'm taking out my clear stamps for the title where I had already drawn a fluffy cloud. After having all of this down, it was time to add some color, and of course, I'll be using the 5 Crayola Super Tips to color code my mood. I'm doing blue for great days, then pinks for a good and neutral day, and lastly, the light brown for a sad day, and the darker brown will do for not so great ones. I'm adding the last few details for this spread, and then we'll move to the heavy tracker space. I started by drawing the illustrations with a fluffy cloud and a moon to change things up just a little bit for the title. And then at the bottom right corner, I'm inviting Munchlax to the sleepover. Being Snorlax's pre-evolution, I just had to include it, so I drew it sitting down with its eyes closed, enjoying some relaxing time. I thought about including other Pokemons to the setup, but since I wasn't adding any kind of pajamas to the characters, I was afraid that the concept might have been lost, so I decided to stick to only these two, although I might add Jigglypuff for future spreads. I kind of didn't think about that when setting this up, but definitely it fits with the theme and the color palette, so we'll see. I already stamped the title, but I'm also using the lowercase cursive stamps to add each habit header. I'm adding two new trackers this month since I think now I'm really familiar with the previous habits I've been tracking for months now, so I feel comfortable having nine to keep up with. I'm doing the ones I'm more familiar with first, so I have exercise, reading, posting content, no junk food, no fast food, and waking up early. The three new trackers are flossing, skincare, and headaches. Although headaches is not a habit, obviously, I really need to keep track of those from my own so I can finally see if there's improvement. And finally, my calendar stamps are here. They didn't arrive on time for my January setup, but now I can be relieved. I won't have to make all of these individual calendar boxes by hand anymore. I can't say this enough, this is my absolute favorite layout for habit tracking, so I'm really happy that now I have some way to make things easier for me. Since the calendars are all 31 days, I just took a tissue paper to soak the black ink from the last row and only have it on the first four weeks for February. And then I also stamped the days of the week with the stamps from the same set. The only thing left here is to add some color. I wish I had a little bit more space to add some sleepover doodles, but because this is looking quite cramped, I just left it as it was. I started by coloring in the doodles and then at the end of setting up this spread, 
You'll see me highlighting the habit headers with the pink and brown Crayola super tips, one different shade per row. Normally, I'll be setting up my brain dump page and a playlist after this, but I forgot to set those up before filming. They will be pretty simple since I need the brain dump to have as much free space as possible. And for the playlist, I'll probably add Jigglypuff singing a lullaby for Snorlax. If you want to see those spreads, I'll post them on my Instagram at Roshi underscore sun and I will also post all future spreads for February as well. We're now at the final spread for this video and that's the first weekly spread for February. I went with one of my favorite layouts for weeklies where I have the daily boxes right in the middle of a spread going down and the sides are for any extra sections that you may need and for any type of decorations you want to add. I used this particular layout for the whole month of December and it may look like it compromises a lot of space for planning but I find that it actually doesn't. It still has enough planning space for me and it also allows me to play around with some doodles as well. I like to have these boxes wider than half of the page so I think these are around 17 by 9 dots on the grid. Besides the space for daily planning, I also added a small section for notes on the left page and of course I made sure to leave a space at the top of each section's titles. What you see me drawing on the corners of the boxes are space for the numbers of the week. To fit in with the theme, I have them look like those um, rectangular bedside table clock alarms and they'll be displaying the current date in an hour format. Since there's only 7 days on the week, we have a good amount of space to use for doodles, so I drew two big fluffy clouds at the top of the left page and floating on cloud 9 is Snorlax laying on its belly having a good night's sleep. I'm really glad that I chose Snorlax to go with this team because I think it's one of the easiest Pokemons to draw. What I also really like to have on my weekly spreads is a mini calendar for a visual reference and see what week we're currently in. So I went ahead and added one on the left page right above my notes section with my calendar stamps. Now that we have defined the overall layout, it's time again for some color and I started doing a pink background for the headers on the notes and the days of the week. To erase any mistakes I make with a Crayola super tip, I have to go with whiteout. While I prefer to use a white gel pen to do that, I found that all of my gel pens simply don't work on top of super tips. I don't know what it is, but it always ends up looking like a very smudge on the page, so yeah, white out it is. After the pink, I follow with the blue areas on the clouds and Snorlax's skin. For the clock alarms, I went with the same overlining coloring that I was doing for the clouds, but I think it looks a little bit weird, so I fully colored them in with this dark brown marker after finishing this video. I used the cursive lowercase stamps just for the notes title. But for the days of the week, I actually have these weekly stamps from AliExpress and of course, they're actually time saving since I only need to stamp once per word. And lastly, I didn't know what to do on the right page, so I decided to add a piece of this beautiful Japanese inspired illustration. It perfectly matches the colors of the theme and goes really well with the concept. So now, the setup is finished, so I will show you a quick flip through. Well everyone, this was my February bullet journal setup. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please leave a thumbs up or a comment below. Take care everyone, until the next video.